watching CTV News. Stay tuned. We will be right back. Do you know that the National Housing Fund is an opportunity for every Nigerian, 21 and above, to own their homes in Nigeria, whether you're civil servant or self-employed? Platinum Mortgage Bank Limited is here to make it practically possible for you to own your house through the National Housing Fund. Estates available under the scheme include the Betty Garden Estate, Karo Abuja, Trade More Estate, Omaya Abia State. House types include two and three bedroom bungalow, tastefully furnished with good road network, electricity and water. Take advantage of these golden opportunity now. For inquiry, call 802 311 Platinum Mortgage Bank Limited, from home to home. Welcome back. And if you're just joining us, this is CTV News. The Catholic Diocese of Lafayette has dedicated the Cathedral of St. Williams. The dedication ceremony was an avenue for the clergy and the faithful to thank God for the numerous blessings for the past 20 years of the erection of the diocese. CTV's Tony Abba completes the report. The ancient city of Lafia in Nasra State was recently thrown into celebrative mood as the Apostolic Nuncio to Nigeria, His Excellency Most Reverend Dr. Antonio Filippazi, dedicated St. William's Cathedral in Lafia. Before the commencement of Mass, the keys to the brand new cathedral was presented to the Apostolic Administrator of Lafia Diocese, Most Reverend Matthew Ishaya Audu. Archbishop Audu then welcomed the Nuncio the bishop, and all those who came for the dedication. I want to welcome all priests, sisters, knights, and their ladies, and then the people of God. Out of the ashes, we have come to dedicate this cathedral church. The nuncio blessed the water which was sprinkled on the faithful. In his homily, Archbishop Philip Pazzi explained the concept of dedication, the church, and the cathedral. Today is a memorable day in the history of the Diocese of Lafia, a day that will be remembered in future years because a very important and significant event Take play, takes place today. We are gathered together to celebrate during this Holy Mass the dedication of your cathedral. The dedication is the right through which a building constructed by human beings is taken away from profane use in order to be reserved by the Church for the worship of God. After the homily, prayer for the consecration of the altar was said, and thereafter the altar was anointed. The incensing and lighting of the candles was done, followed by the Eucharistic celebration and offer tree. After the Mass, there were awards presented to faithful who contributed to the growth and development of the Church for the past 20 years. Dr. Emmanuel Akabe, the Deputy Governor of Nasra State, who represented the Governor at the event, in his goodwill message, commended the good relationship that exists between the Church and the State Government. I want to thank God for a day like this. But God has brought us to witness this very great occasion. He extends his felicitations to the members of this Catholic community for being able to put all your energies and your resources together to be able to come up with this magnificent edifice. Representing the Catholic Bishop Conference of Nigeria, CBCN, Most Reverend Dr. Ignatius Kegama, in his remarks, congratulated the diocese for building a magnificent cathedral. And congratulations to you all. Like as Bishop Audu said, 
those who even contributed five naira, those who contributed very big sums, all of you have been awarded, and your award is from God directly. May God bless you. So I, on behalf of the bishops of Nigeria, greet you, greet you on behalf of all the bishops of Nigeria. The president definitely of the conference would have been here, but since he's not here, I know they all wish you well. The entire bishops' conference sends greetings and blessings upon you all. From Lafia in Nasra State, Tony Abbas, CTV News.